Hi, I'm Marilyn Wadham with Methodist Hospital and the Affair of the Heart. Today we're going to talk about one of the most influential things you can do to make your heart more healthy and it is something as simple as eating more fiber. Fiber is that part of plants that we cannot digest and so it goes through the entire digestive system. Fiber is found in all fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Vegetarian diets are naturally higher in fiber because the majority of the food that they eat are from plant sources. Compared to the meat source, which is higher in saturated fat and cholesterol. There are two types of fiber which help our bodies in two very healthy ways. The first one is called bulk or roughage. This is the type of fiber that is not digested and it goes through our entire digestive tract. It aids in our regularity and it helps move food through our body more quickly. The sources for this are whole grains, especially whole wheat bran. And in addition to the fiber, it also contains minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants that are very healthy to the body. When we say the word whole grain, we mean the entire grain without any parts being sifted out to make what we would call pure white processed flour. Regular flour is used in making processed foods which are usually higher in sugars and fat and they have very little vitamin or minerals. The second type of fiber is called soluble fiber and it mixes with some of the liquids in our intestine and forms a sort of a gel which helps trap cholesterol and eliminate it from our system. This type of fiber is found in oats, beans, fruits, vegetables, especially peas. The fiber of this nature helps reduce the risk of heart disease because it helps to lower blood cholesterol, blood pressure, and it helps in preventing obesity. It also helps to reduce the risk of certain cancers and diabetes. The fiber also helps us with our hunger level by making us feel fuller sooner and longer. The high fiber foods are also lower in calories when you compare them to the foods high in sugar and fat. To get the full benefits from fiber, we recommend a minimum of 30 grams of fiber per day. Of that, we are asking five servings coming from fruits and vegetables and a minimum of six to eight servings from the whole grains group. When we're talking about servings, we're speaking of a half cup portion, perhaps a fruit, vegetable, or cereal, or one slice of bread, those equal one serving. Read the food label. That is going to show you under the carbohydrate listing the dietary fiber source. Three grams or more is a good source of fiber. Read the food label. Under carbohydrates you will find dietary fiber and three grams or more is considered a good source. Today's recipe features the benefits of the vegetables, the whole grain, and has two grams of fiber per serving. It's a flexible recipe allowing you to substitute different vegetables, part skim mozzarella cheese, egg substitutes, and if you have a problem with gluten, you can even use the whole grain rice flour instead. Add a side dish of fresh fruit and you'd have a wonderful heart healthy meal. Fiber is not just an important part of a healthy diet, it is the foundation. Start each day with a healthy cup of whole grain cereal and take care of your heart. I'm Marilyn Wadham with The Affair of the Heart.